Hey guys, um, as you can see, I'm all bundled up here, uh, in a blanket and snuggled down. Uh, that's because it finally decided to snow in Cannonsburg. <sighs> they said we're gonna get snow today, snow tomorrow, snow the next day, and snow the next day. So, fun! I will freeze my bum off! Yay! Frozen pregnancy butt. <laughs> um, as to my pregnancy, I've had a couple people ask me with how everything's going. Everything is going great. Um, the I get to go get a test on the fifteenth that will tell me if the baby has Down syndrome or not. Which uh, it's just a normal test that people go the, the woman go to. In between the 11th week and the 13th week uh, that they've been doing a lot of this the last few years just to check um, doesn't mean anything that the baby does have it or not and even if it did you know life goes on uh, ugh, as you can tell I've got a little bit of a cold which is wonderful um, especially with this weather and having to take Andrew outside in the mornings to go get in his van for uh, school because he's going to want to start throwing snowballs at me now. He saw snow this morning goes, oh, snow, ice crystals. And then he goes, when I'm able to make snowballs, and I'm like, well, you might be able to make snowballs here in a couple days. And I said, you might also be able to make snowmen. So <laughs> he's all excited now. But... I want to tell you, oops, sorry, I've got, I've got a uh, toy holding up my phone at the moment, so uh, I wanted to tell you about a little trip that I took. On Saturday, we went to Pittsburgh to um, go have a family dinner with Alan's sisters and some cousins and family, and it was pretty fun. Um, we went to Boca de Beppi's. I believe I said that right. That's I'm not sure how that if that's how they say it or how I don't know. But I say Boca de Beppi's. Um, amazing Italian food. We had this room that is filled with pictures of the different popes. In the center of our table is a, a round piece that spins. That way it's because it's served like family style and the food is put on that and you could turn it and and um, that's how everybody served themselves well in the very center of that is a glass box with a bust of the Pope it looks just like the, it's just the Pope's from like here to here on the Pope and he's got this little smirk on his face and he's going That would be my only way to say it. Little teeny smirk. His one eye is just slightly higher than the other. And oh my God, was it creepy every time they turned it and it looked at me. Oh my gosh. But the pictures they have in this place. There are pictures of old wrestlers. There are pictures of Sinatra. And pretty much anybody that's got some sort of Italian heritage was up on their wall. Um... The food was amazing. They had a little fountain down the hall from the room we were in. It was a little kid. Looked like a little kid. It was probably like a little cherub or something, you know. Completely buck naked and peeing. The pee was the fountain part. Um, Andrew wanted to play in it. But... After that, we went on a little walk. We went over to the Monongahela Incline. We rode up the incline. Then, which I don't think I'll ever do again, because being pregnant and being me, <laughs> we walked from the Monongahela Incline to the Duquesne Incline, which the guy that works inside the Monongahela Incline side said that it's only like a mile walk huh yeah a mile walk my butt mount washington in freezing cold is not fun to walk on 
Uh, it's beautiful views, but mm, no thanks. Um, so we walked to the Duquesne Incline, rode the Duquesne Incline back down. Then we walked back to where we had our um, cars parked in Station Square. Um, we were down by the river so we could see the river and we could see the point and, and all the great skyline imagery from over in Pittsburgh. Uh, that was really fun, except for the little the little walking part. <laughs> but uh, there goes my phone again, as you can see. But yeah, um, that's what we did on Saturday. And I've never done that before. And this is like a traditional thing that they do every year. And I think I'm going to have to start doing it every year. Oh my gosh. And next year I'll have a baby to tote around. Uh, but anywho. Uh, so that was the beginning of my weekend. And I'm going to miss our rental cars that we had. Our rental car had a heated seat. And with the weather the way it's been, who did I need it? My goodness, was my bum cold but, and it's gonna be even colder because our car doesn't have this and then when we do do turn our heat on in our car it melts your face off so yeah we're gonna have a wonderful winter this year either freezing or melting our faces off in the car but we still have to take the kids to go see Santa and to make out their Christmas list they have to make out their Christmas list so we can drop them off um, got to do a little shopping here and there. Um, but I go to get my test on Friday. And I don't know if we're going to do a little shopping then or what. Because, um, my dad will be here with Arthur. So we can't do too much shopping because we'll have Andrew with us. But, but yeah, we're going to have to pick out a day to go see Santa and go do all this with the kids and... I love this. I love this time of the year. The only sad thing is that my mom, her um, anniversary of her death is going to be coming up here on the 23rd into the 24th. She died 20 minutes before midnight, um, December 23rd. So Christmas Eve, I had to tell my kids that their Grammy wasn't going to be around for Christmas. And that was in 2013, so, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's, it's a little sad for me, but it's a little happy too, and, uh, just, I think that'll always be like that for me, but I know my mom would want me to be happy, and she'd be excited because she's got another grandchild on the way, uh, and she'd be definitely hoping that it's a girl, which I'm hoping myself. <laughs> but either, either way, boy or girl, I'll be happy. As long as the little one's healthy. But I would like another girl for uh, to uh, ease up the testosterone in this house. <laughs> since I'm the only girl. Um, but, and we got our stuff for our waterbed. So our waterbed will be fixed. So by Christmas we'll be in our waterbed again. Um, we're still sleeping on the couch and Alan actually, his back hurt so badly the other night, he slept on the floor in his sleeping bag. So I guess I'm, I'm going to have to get used to that myself sleeping in the sleeping bag because in a few months we are going to do something really cool, which I'm going to, I'm going to love. We're going to be doing an overnighter with the Boy Scouts in the Science Center over in Pittsburgh and we actually get to sleep in the Science Center, which is going to be so cool because the next day you get pretty much free admission into the Science Center and into the Sports Center next door. So, a little bit excited for that. Although, I don't know how my pregnant belly is going to be <laughs> sleeping on a floor, but we'll see. At the moment, I have a kitty cat staring at me. Hi, soldier. Hi, buddy. Soldier staring at me. But, anyhow. I gotta get off here and get ready because Andrew will be home soon and I'm supposed to be doing some more cleaning for Christmas and that sort of thing. So see you later kids. Mwah.
Bye.